Join us. It is day one of Dixie's two-week board and train. Dixie is in the same family as Finn, who just graduated from our two-week program. Finn will be joining Dixie around day 12 so that they can train together. Dogs are trained individually, and then I join them all together. Dixie is a five-year-old Wheaton Terrier and Miniature Poodle mix, and it's very sweet. She has no prior training. Observation and past history notes that she is fearful or skittish type behaviors toward noises and objects and, and new environments. She does not adjust well to new environments and her ability to rebound from the stress of a new environment, noise or object is slow. We'll see throughout the two week board and train program, these fearful behaviors in Dixie. You'll see yawning, fast and repeated licking of her lips, panting, body posture, low to the ground, and other sort of fearful behaviors. My program is customized to help Dixie with her manners and also to help her adjust to the recent addition to the family, and that's Finn. Dogs come into my life for a short two-week training session, but some have problems that are classified as long-term rehabilitation to approach the behavior of a well-rounded dog. Genetics and or socialization, the period from birth to around four months of age, are the two major causes of a dog displaying fearful behavior throughout their life. Training helps them focus their brain away from the noises or objects or whatever it is that they're afraid of and to remain on task with a command such as come, sit, or place. Training, especially in multi-dog households, gives dogs and family a happier and more comfortable lifestyle. This is Dixie. She's a five-year-old Wheaton Terrier and Poodle mix. This is her evaluation log. Dixie arrived yesterday late afternoon. Note how Dixie is unaware that I exist at the other end of the leash. Her nose is engaged with the ground and dictating the walk. The leash is fully extended and there is a lot of tension on the leash. She does not visually check in nor turn when I turn. There are two walking commands I teach, the follow command and later on the formal heel command. Dixie is in charge of the walk, but the change that needs to occur is to make the walk more balanced. In the coming days, Dixie will learn how to have a team walk. go ahead and check and see what she does now. Dixie place. Dixie sit. Okay, some of my feet are moving. She's moving with me. Dixie come. Okay, so that's really good. That's a good job. And the jumping, not so good. <laughs> So we'll be training a sit and a place and a recall for our distance and look forward to the coming days of helping her with her manners. Dixie sit, wait, Dixie follow, Dixie sit, good girl Dixie, follow. Dixie, sit. Good. Okay, so she's investigating the board, which is awesome. So I'm going to go, yes. And no 
notice how her tail is down and sort of curled. This is just indicative of uh, fearful dog behavior. Mary work with the place for getting her comfortable walking across it before we actually add the place command to the different processor. Good girl, Dixie. Good job. Good girl. Okay, so she's gonna pause there a minute. Here she comes. Good girl. Good job, Dixie. Follow. She's our follow command here. Good girl. I'll walk across all of the side. Here she comes. Good Carol Dixie, you did it. Follow. Follow. Hey, good girl. Good job. Yes, good girl, Dixie. So that was wonderful when the ball banged against the metal object over here that uh, she didn't really go to the end of the leash or do anything extreme in terms of flight behavior. She did follow the ball and pick it up with her mouth. So that tells me that toys or a ball in particular is gonna be a pretty good uh, training tool to use over the coming days. She's got a nice loose leash. She's checking in. Good girl, Dixie. Hey, Dixie, sit. Good girl. Dixie, follow. Dixie, sit. Good job. Dixie, follow. Good girl. Dixie, sit. Good girl. Dixie, follow. Follow. Dixie, sit. Good girl, Dixie. Dixie, follow. Dixie, sit. Dixie, follow. Dixie, sit. Good girl. Follow. So we're working on her turns. Good girl, Dixie. Follow. Follow. Good girl. Follow. Good job, Dixie. Dixie, sit. Good job. Dixie, follow. Good girl. Very good. Okay, so if you um, watch any of Finn's videos, you'll see the difference in my training style with a fearful dog versus a confident dog. And the trainer has to usually adapt to the situation of what the behaviors are for that particular dog. So customizing my program for each dog is um, a wonderful experience for me because it's a learning opportunity for me to grow also. And um, I'm enjoying helping her on day one and going forward to watch her sort of blossom like a flower. Good girl, Dixie. Follow. I'm using the hand signal for follow, either right or left hand. 
this particular movement. For sit, I'm using two fingers with my thumb crossed across the other fingers, and you can wiggle them or not. Pixie sit. Pixie five. Pixie sit. Pixie five. I put a I put a treat on the board. You can see how she elongates her body. Her tail is tucked. Dixie, sit. Good job, Dixie. 